to that uh, repository there were a couple of other methods as well okay so how to get that just open your uh, repository and here you are extending the JPS specification executor right if you get inside it there you have the find one and overloaded methods of the find all three methods are there which we have explored okay then if you see here there were a couple of other as well count exist delete and find by okay for this there is no implementation so uh, let's try to use these three because find one is again almost the same of find all just that optional is there so maybe we'll see about that as well so as part of today's tutorial we are going to see this one count exist and delete here we are uh, using the specification object then we are passing into this one and we are checking that functionality right so here let me take the existing one something like um, maybe I'll use this greater than one so I have this one right so I'll take greater than uh, one second yeah greater than r equals to okay so my business scenario goes like this okay like uh, delete all the employees whose salary is more than 50,000 something like that okay so uh, so here we need to find out that specification then using other operations we need to delete it okay so we already have this specification here okay so uh, what we are doing here simply we are getting the input from this bin that we are passing as part of our api okay so let me go to the controller first so here by greater than equals here we are passing a input bin as part of the request and we are written in the list of employees right so if you go into the request bin here there were two objects main objects are two like column name on what column you want to perform the operation and what is a value against which you want to check that condition okay so i have used this in order to make it more generic and other are related to the sort and pagination which we can omit as of now okay so uh, from controller we are writing it we are calling the service method here in the service method we have this specification after the specification comes we are we are using this find all method right so instead of find all we'll perform other operations okay so how this specification is built simply using criteria builder that dot greater than r equal to on that particular column on the value we are passing from the input cool nice now let's i have this specification so instead of this what i will do is employee report dot here uh, count count is of specification so let me use this specification greater than okay so this one is returning me i believe is a long right so simply use long object employee emp count okay so uh, let's log this okay in order to log it i am using that uh, sl4j right so i can use xls4j here yeah this should be sufficient come down and log that object log dot info is what is that employee count is employee count is here i will pass emp count right so this is the first thing we are doing maybe two string we need to log dot one second what happened i have this sls 4j slf 4j x slf 4j yes i have this one 
then I can use log right yes log dot info I don't know okay fine no issue as of now let's use sysout okay anyway we just want to log it right so let's use the sysout okay so employee count employee count is okay so emp count this is one operation then what else we have as part of uh, this so count we have we have the exist and delete these two will try to perform okay so let me copy paste it here and paste it here as of now okay no issues so i have emp employee repo dot exist of that particular specification okay so i am going to use specification here okay so here boolean of uh, emp exist this also will try to log it using sysout okay emp exist okay if employee exist that means emp exist then what you do is you simply call this delete method here okay so employee repo dot delete on that specification so specification we already have it here right okay i am deleting this guy let's here it is returning long word right? so delete uh, delete okay something like this or else delete status let's keep like this and here we'll call this and we'll return this guy return return delete status okay here and this let's change it to long that means this is a service right so i need to change it in my controller as well so let's go and change in the controller okay yeah that should be sufficient now let's run our uh, our application and see maybe initialize it to zero yeah cool that should be it now let's run our application and see how it is going to work i have started the main method here it will take a while to build in the meantime let's go to the postman and set up our api and you don't need to worry about anything here i will put this entire code into the git so that it is very easy for you to refer okay so i have my uh, postman opening yeah i have this method already and i have the body as well okay so salary greater than to 20000 right so let me keep 40000 here and i want to delete all those employees whose salary is greater than 40000 okay so you could see here okay uh, does not exist okay anyway i'm not using it and at the same time here i am using h2 database guys so in order to feed the data into it i am using the command line runner and this method will get executed when the spring context is started and here we are setting the data for the employee all the information is setting up here okay so as you can see it is started so let's open that h2 database and show you the data before getting into that actual uh, api endpoint okay so my application is running at 9011 and h2 console if you give you will get their password and if you go here employee now you could see this is a salary okay 
So what I am passing is I am passing 40,000. So that means here that operation is greater than or greater than or greater than or equals to. Let's see here that operation is uh, operation is greater than or equals to. So basically uh, to 50,000 there were two records and this record should be deleted once we perform the operation. Okay, so let's see this. Now you could see we got the three and if I go and execute this, what will happen? Now you could see uh, those records were deleted directly. Only we got these two, 30,000 and 10,000, right? So this is how we can perform the delete operation with the help of criteria specification as well. Now you could see there were three employees which are satisfying this uh, specific condition here. The specification condition, there were three employees are satisfying. So that we got and we checked whether those employees exist or not with the help of the exist uh, repo. On repo, we have this exist method by passing specification object. We are checking with the boolean condition if that if that happens then we are performing that delete operation using the specification we have sent from the input and delete happened and there were three records got deleted that we have got as part of the response okay so this is how we can check few other examples like uh, uh, count exist and delete i think find one you can definitely try on your own it's just that one object will be written as an optional if exist object will be written if not then optional will not be there okay so that you can try it on your own and let me know in the comment section i hope this video is informative for you guys if you found it useful please do like share and subscribe to my channel until next time it's me karthik signing off